Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase. This is going to be a roundup of some miniatures which we have completed recently here at the studio. We've got some fantastic projects for you to have a look at, including Vulcan, the Primarch of the Salamanders himself with the giant hammer. We also have a custom service Imperial Fists Librarian. And finally, we have a ghost kill from the Tower Warhammer 40,000 faction painted in a custom set scheme. So some great miniatures to have a look at. So first up, let's have a look at Vulcan, Primarch of the Salamanders, a fantastic character series miniature and what a piece to add to your collection. Vulcan has been painted by Eric from the team here at Siege, who has done a fantastic job of rendering all the details on the miniature and all the little parts and interesting details through to a very, very high standard in a non-metallic metal finish, which is what you can expect with us here at Siege at our platinum level. This has been done across the miniature on all areas, including the hammer, metallics, golds, and also on the armor. Um, I absolutely love the display base. I think that's one of the things that really sort of like makes these uh, sort of character series miniatures really great for display on your shelf uh, and a good thing to have obviously if you want to have a personal piece just for just for like your favorite character at home or something it's just a really lovely overall composition one of my favorite things on this miniature as much as i absolutely love vulcan and we'll dive into detail on him is actually this terracotta plaster on the uh, the base uh, i think that's an inspired choice by eric don't know if he's had any diy tips but what i would say is that that orange terracotta just that sort of plaster works extremely well with the uh, the green armor it just contrasts really really well also the fire on the top of the head crest and all the flame details across the miniature on the van brace and also on the chest. Um, some of the other things I do really like is this beautiful Drake scale uh, that he has got as a cape. Uh, and Eric spent a lot of time adding a lot of interest and detail with tones and hues on there. It's just to really contrast the miniature really nicely. The base, as you can see, has got a fallen salamander on there, which I think is a bit sad as he's looking up at his father in dismay. But then you've also got a Death Guard Marine on that base as well, uh, just to see that uh, Vulcan has smited at that foul abomination and heretic. It's really nice to see a contrast between the dead enemies on the base also. And last up, a couple of things that I do really like are the fact that Eric has done a great job on the face of Vulcan, just putting all the details exactly where they need to be in a really sharp and refined fashion. The last thing is just the use of the gray on the base, just to contrast the miniature. A nice neutral toned base just works extremely nicely and makes the orange tones on the plaster and also the green of the armor stand out beautifully against it. Uh, but that's Vulcan. What a fantastic miniature to add to your collection or display. So next up, we have something very special. We have a custom service Imperial Fists librarian to look at. Custom Service is our character creation brand here at Siege, where through traditional hand sculpting and converting and painting by one of the painting team, you can have made a one-off bespoke character to add to your collection. Our client has elected to go for a Imperial Fists librarian in a really awesome pose where he's using a psychic power and also looks quite stoic in his stance. Uh, do absolutely love what's been done on this. So this model has been converted and sculpted by Simon from the Custom Service team and has then been painted by Rich from the painting team. And they've both done a brilliant job of bringing to life this miniature for our client. And there's some really great choices, both in the way that the model is made and also in the way that it's been painted. One of my favorite things is the really high saturation of color with regards to the yellow and the blue. You've got a beautiful primary color triad with the little details being in red as well. So those three colors just work exquisitely across the miniature. I always like the little filigree on the four swords of uh, psychers and librarians. I think that's a really nice little detail that has not been forgotten as the years have progressed. And it's great to see it on this four sword that librarian is wielding. The bit that I do actually really like is the fact the librarian is using one of his psychic powers. You can see that sort of uh, etheric flame that's just sort of spouting from his hand, that ball of energy, which is just great. And you can see the glowing eyes that Rich has done also on the face, which really show that sort of uh, warp energy just flowing through him. Um, I do, again, really love the uh, splashes of yellow where you've got this beautiful, huge yellow cape here at the back with that lovely sharp key line and the Imperial Fist insignia in the corners. Around the front, you'll see obviously he's got that front part of the tabard, uh, again with that lovely key line at the bottom and also that rich yellow across its surface. 
Um, the other little things that I do love are the deep maroon colors. So for example, if you look at the chest, you've got that lovely Aquila with a fist on it that's been sculpted and that's been done in a lovely maroon tone as well. Um, just those extra little details to add that personal Imperial Fist heraldry to his armor. If we move around the back, you'll see it's got a few purity seals with all the script and text added on there. Uh, just those little details really do go a long way and add that story and narrative of the deeds that this librarian has done on there. Another little thing that I really like is again, selling that, that sort of warp energy. As you can see the, uh, the psychic hood here, you've got those sort of little runes just glowing there with that warp energy as well. Uh, it just really sells that kind of like use of the psychic power, which I think is great on the miniature. And all the edges have been highlighted through multiple stages of highlighting, which is what you would expect with us here at our gold level at Siege. Uh, but all in all, a beautiful Imperial Fists custom service one-off bespoke librarian to join our client's collection. And finally, to complete this roundup, we have a beautiful Tau Ghost Kill from a custom set scheme project which we've completed. The Ghost Kill is probably one of my favorite Tau suits. So obviously there's loads of different ones to choose from, but I think there's something really nice about the size and also details, and also really kind of the way that the Ghost Kill works in the game. Um, just a really interesting, sneaky kind of an infiltrator unit. Um, regarding the color scheme, I think the clients had a great choice of creating this custom scheme with that orange and blue with the white neutral tone as well. There's also a splash of red on some of the sort of uh, gems and things that are on there. One of the things that I do really like about this is that we've not just done this beautiful model, but we've also done other miniatures in this custom set scheme, including a Commander Farsight and also some Tau that were converted to have Votan bodies. Uh, which are really interesting and uh, just gave a different type of look to the miniatures and our client's collection. There's also some magnetizing on this model. So obviously the weaponry is fully magnetized, so it can be interchanged, which is quite nice. Gives our client the option to choose the different weapons for gaming. Um, but as you'll see, the lovely blue and orange contrasting scheme really works and shows obviously definition on certain details with that use of the orange. Some of the things I do really like are the free-handed kind of like set markings that are on the thighs and scattered around the miniature in various areas. I think that central orange bar on the head as well just gives it some some kind of leadership kind of look i think it's like a stripe of an honor stripe or something like that it's quite interesting um, and the use of the red on some of the like, gems and like lenses and dials and things just works with that blue again i really like the use of the sharp yellow that's been used on some of the orange areas just to sort of give a little bit of a triadic color scheme on the miniature um, but overall a super super clean and sharply executed miniature that simon from the team here at siege has done a fantastic job on completing for our client. So thanks for watching the video guys. I do hope you liked all the miniatures that you've seen. If you'd like to see more miniatures and armies that we've painted, then please do not hesitate in going to the channel and subscribing. We have loads of showcases over there. If you're interested in getting some miniatures painted for your collection or your army, then do not hesitate in going to the description of this video where you can find a link to the Siege website, complete a contact form and send that off to us for your free quote. A huge thank you for watching from all the team here at Siege and myself. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.